Good morning. Happy Wednesday, the 5th of December. It is chemo plus two. That's what I like to call it. Uh, usually my chemo day is on a Monday, and then the days following are my plus days. Um, this, uh, this chemo has gone surprisingly well. Um, I kind of went into it expecting a whole bunch of ick and um, ended up uh, today getting my port disconnected. Um, feeling okay. Feeling, um, feeling like it wasn't so bad. Um, you know, as humans, I think we often expect sort of the worst, and uh, certainly having gone through um, this chemo in the past, minus one element, maybe that one element is the thing that really um, made things bad for me before, but um, that um, going through that... Um, Back in 2017, sort of prepared me for uh, for this um, this chemo. So I'm glad it didn't go as badly as uh, as I expected. So good for me. Um, today I get my port disconnected, um, or not my port disconnected. I get uh, the extra 46 hour bag of chemotherapy, which is in this bag right here. It is uh, connected to me here. Um, I might take some pictures of that and for those of you who are really interested um, I'll post them in Instagram with a warning so you don't have to if you don't want to look at them you don't have to but um, um, that gets disconnected today at 3 and then um, then I am chemo free. It continues to work in the body uh, after everything is disconnected uh, for up to a week. Um, and then again on Monday I start or I do do it all over again. Um, and I think if I remember correctly it's two weeks on and then one week off and then two weeks on and then one week off. And so um, and let's not forget that chemo is cumulative, so um, I'm not I'm not forgetting that part. That uh, chemo seems to get worse and worse the more you get it, uh, which is why they give you that break in between. But um, anyway, so that's what's going on with me today. I'm happy to say that uh, that I endured this chemo pretty well. Um, had some. Uh, unhappy side effects that weren't nearly as bad as they were in the past. So, woohoo! Uh, happy for that. And uh, I'm genuinely uh, happy that I got the chemo and that I'm back on the schedule again because um, if nothing else, it makes me feel like I'm doing something to combat this awful, awful disease. Um, pancreatic cancer is unforgiving. And, um, you know, the inevitable is the inevitable, but uh, it could be the inevitable for anyone, right? Um, uh, today, I could get hit by a bus, and then chemo wouldn't make any difference, and cancer wouldn't have been a, been a thing anyway. For that matter, anyone could, but um, we never know when our day is uh, upon us, and... Uh, that's why I think it's important to live every day as though you are dying. Um, um, it's, a, it's a circle. It's a circle of life. Um, death is something that we will all face, um, whether it's as a result of cancer or the uh, inattentive driving of someone texting or some, I don't know, drunk driver or just some freak accident, um, death is just part of life, so, um, for me, it's just, uh, it's bandling cancer is, uh, is the end, so, um, and I think I've come to terms with that, 
sure I have sadness over it, um, but, you know, kind of is what it is. You just gotta take the good with the bad and, and, uh, and live your life, as I said, as though you're dying. Um, don't let those precious moments get away from you. Um, don't, uh, don't, um, don't forget to take time to stop and smell the roses and spend time with your family and do all of those things that you love um, because life is fleeting and it's just a part of part of the circle of life. Anyway, that got a little bit too deep and um, so just um, just want to let you know I'm doing really well um, on this cancer uh, treatment, this chemotherapy, full fox. Um, uh, my, my oncologist actually gave me a choice. I said, I'm not really thrilled about the full fox. And he said, well, I'll give you a choice. You can either choose diarrhea or neuropathy. And I chose neuropathy, which is the full fox. Um, <laughs> not a hard choice. Um, for those of you who don't know what neuropathy is, you, uh, there's like a, if you, if your foot has ever fallen asleep, um, that's similar to neuropathy. You get that shooting pain in your foot as you're trying to wake it up. Um, only for, uh, for cancer patients, neuropathy, uh, typically, uh, extends to the fingers, uh, to the hands, uh, to the feet, all of your sort of extremities, uh, causes, um, like, uh, like splintering pain, um, in your in your fingertips and in your and in your toes and in various other places um, and it's usually brought on by um, hot or cold um, so for instance uh, picking up a hot coffee with your fingers with your bare fingers would probably affect you and your neuropathy um, drinking a cold drink for me for instance if I drink a drink out of the refrigerator um, it actually feels like it's freezing on my tongue. It's the weirdest sensation ever. Um, so, strangely enough, I drink things while I'm on chemo at room temperature, which might be gross, but uh, it's about the only way that I can drink stuff. It can't be cold because suddenly it feels like, like an ice cream is forming in my mouth. Um, it's just kind of weird, but um, that's one of the side effects. Um, but um, really, I mean, full fox hasn't been so bad for me. Um, but full fear nux, apparently, I did really well with as well. So um, I don't know. Um, maybe I just have a higher tolerance or a different tolerance than than some. But. I'm sure there are plenty of uh, other folks that you could talk to who have undergone chemotherapy, whether it was for pancreatic cancer or some other cancer, who have experienced um, far greater um, bad uh, side effects with the chemo uh, than I have. Um, maybe I just have a different tolerance level. You know, it's different for everybody, but anyway. A little bit too deep. Uh, but I wanted to fill you in on, on, that's one of the reasons why I started this whole vlog in the first place was to kind of share my experiences with chemotherapy and in dealing with and co combating uh, pancreatic cancer. So, um, there you go. Um, more good stuff to become, come soon. Um, I've been working with um, a couple of folks in my... Uh, I'm one of the founders of the Minnesota Overlanders uh, group here in Minnesota. It's, we're one of the largest overlanding groups in Minnesota with over 750 members um, in our group. We're not like a, a paid group or anything like that. Anyone's free to join as long as you're in Minnesota and you want to be a part of the overlanding community and contribute in some way, shape, or form. And, do all of those things or whatever, but in speaking to a bunch of uh, folks in the overlanding group, we are 
uh, currently putting together some um, some trail rides, uh, some winter trail rides, and some camping trips, and uh, not necessarily so much overlanding as it is, uh, you know, camping trips, uh, weekend camping trips, but uh, we're putting some of those together, and even day trips, for me, is probably going to be a better uh, choice, just because um, I have lost so much weight that um, and have to wear <laughs> headgear all the time because I'm cold. <laughs> uh, my hair has started to grow grow back since uh, I've had seven weeks of um, of no chemo, and the uh, chemo that I was on before actually affected my hair. Um, but uh, this full fox, at least in my uh, in full fear uh, I didn't lose any hair. It thinned a little bit, but I didn't lose it to the effect of uh, what I was just uh, just on the last chemo. But um, anyway, so put together some trail rides and some winter stuff, um, and certainly uh, as I attend those things, I will be um, making videos, posting up pictures, those kinds of things. So the fun stuff is coming. Um, in addition, uh, we have a couple of trips that I'm not going to talk about right now too much, but uh, just to let you know that we have a couple of things that are coming up um, as a family, um, one of which I can't talk about at all. It will be a surprise to at least one member of our family and um, sort of a, a, a bucket list uh, item for me. Um, you know, half of these bucket list uh, things that we're doing not only benefit me, but also benefit um, my family and me experiencing um, things that my family wants to do. Things that, you know, our family wants to do and be a part of. Um, that's part of the bucket list is, you know, seeing the joy on... Um, the rest of the family's face in addition to mine um, and just experiencing that because I don't know if I will <laughs> anyway so um, thanks a lot for watching thanks for uh, all of your support thanks for uh, sending well wishes sending uh, notes on on Instagram if you're following me there um, Thanks for subscribing, liking, sub subscribing, and, and, and sharing my story with, uh, with others. I've actually met a number of people with pancreatic cancer who uh, have reached out to me, and I'm more than willing to talk to anyone about pancreatic cancer. Um, it's a platform that doesn't get enough attention, uh, yet it's the third leading, third or fourth leading um, cause of death in cancer patients. Um, uh, with a 9% five-year uh, survival rate, uh, 9%. So <laughs> it's just amazing. Um, nine out of out of ten people will be dead with pancreatic cancer after within five years. Those numbers are horrible, and um, more needs to be done. So I'm more than happy to talk to people about pancreatic cancer and and uh, side effects and um, for that matter even at Mayo Clinic I've shared my personal uh, information with anyone who needs it in terms of research or uh, understanding of how drugs work or whatever how it worked for me all of that stuff is an open book I've I've shared with uh, with Mayo Clinic and um, and you know good things are coming from that um, I encourage anyone with uh, pancreatic cancer, please reach out. I'm happy to talk to you about things that have worked for me in the past two years as far as eating foods or not eating foods or dealing and coping with pain. Um, all those things, tests I've done, um, the chemo that I've been on, now this is my third um, sort of concoction of chemo at this point, so I have some background in that stuff. Um, not a doctor, but um, certainly after dealing with this uh, for the last two years, there's obviously certain things that you pick up along the way that um, could help somebody. So if you know someone who's got 
pancreatic cancer has recently been diagnosed, please um, have them reach out to me. Um, visit my website. You can contact me there at um, www.pancanoverland.com. Uh, there are other resources that I've posted there as well. You can uh, DM me on uh, Instagram at pancanoverland. At Pancan Overland. Um, find me on Facebook, Brian Monahan uh, from Elk River and uh, Elk River, Minnesota. And uh, I'd be happy to talk to you or, or your friends or, or whatever about my experiences with pancreatic cancer. And certainly, if you friend me, um, you can go back <laughs> a full two years to see uh, how all of this has evolved and. On my website, I've shared a sort of a brief history of how this all came to be. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's gone on a little bit long, longer than I expected, uh, a little bit deeper than I expected. But um, hope you're having a great rest of the week. And uh, it's Wednesday, and get out and explore this weekend. And uh, let us know how you're doing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all your support. Have a great rest of the week, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye!